Hello and welcome back to In Harm's Way Plays All the Mods 3. Um, which way was I going? This way, okay. Um, right back to where we left off. I buried myself, but... Buried myself, but also ended up still taking damage. Which I don't understand how I kept taking damage, but, you know... I don't understand sometimes the mechanics. Anyway, like I said, we're uh, going to hunt down this dragon. So what we need to do is start those up. Probably if I use the right tool it would. Ooh, that one hit. See, this is one of the reasons why I like Ore Miner, because I could have just taken that out with Ore Miner if I had it taken out the entire cage. So, the reason that I take these out first is because they heal the dragon. So, you don't want her being healed while you're trying to kill her. And I call her a her because she lays eggs, so I could be wrong. Must be nice to be able to fly right through those obsidian pillars. I'd like to do that. Oh, killed it. Nice. So we got a dragon heart right there. Some I've got 57 of the ender lilies, which I'm pretty excited about. And now we need to go home and figure out how to we need to come back and get that. So let's go home. get ourselves a piston come back and knock that off the I think that looks cool some people would disagree with me but I think it looks cool gonna need that gonna need that gonna need three of these and gonna need some of these. Alright, so piston. And as you saw, I was checking to see if we could take on the... And we're also going to need a... lever. Alright, 
So let's go back. Not bad. It was only what thirteen, fourteen hundred blocks from where we were. What do I have to eat? I have plenty of stuff in here, like hydro chops. I didn't die. I need vegetables and dairy. Okay, we'll put these away. I like that this one actually allows me to still have the bag open while moving the bag. There are a lot of mods that don't allow that. Six hundred, five hundred. At some point, we might do the dungeon right there, but I'm not really. I'm not really set on taking it out right now. I did get what was in here. And now we'll go back in. Oh, just die. Thank you. Alright, so, build this up with what? We've got the cobble, might as well use the cobble. So there. I'd like to do this just so that it doesn't fall in and end up somewhere I can't get it. So... I know it's not necessary that more times than not the piston will shoot it far enough away that you don't have to do that, but See? Look at how far the piston shot it away. There we go. Okay, so, <clears throat> we should have an end city deal around here somewhere. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Saw it. go to the end city or to wherever this takes us actually before we do that let's make sure we have a place to come back to alright so let's see if we can find an end city here maybe not Maybe all we'll get is some chorus fruit. A couple of chorus 
those rooms, okay. Alright. Now let's kind of... ourselves around a little bit. Huh. We got some obsidian there. Wonder why these have obsidian falling from them like that. Like obsidian stalactites. Not seeing a uh, city close to this, but we did get some chorus flowers, so and some chorus fruit. That works. So let's go home. Ah, oh, that took two of them shouldn't have, but okay. We could build another waypoint a uh, way stone and get here automatically if we wanted to. And I might look into that in a little while. Alright, so let's do a little landscaping here. We have 49 end stone. So if we were to walk around the house <laughs> and put end stone down here next to the door and plant our ender lilies because they grow much quicker in end stone we should be able to have a pretty good ender pearl production going here and we can always get more end stone to increase our how many we plant. So let's just plant them around the house like we had already done. Instead of just the two by the front door, we're going to have them pretty much all around the house. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and did it again. We almost had enough to go all the way around the house once. Alright, so then we plant our ender lilies. And now when harvesting our ender pearls, instead of just harvesting two at a time, we'll have, what was that, 44? bit 
little bit of Ender Lily. Well, we can have 46 Ender Lily production, except these two are going to take longer because Ender Lilies grow quicker on End Stone. All right, so those can go there. I'm going to have to take care of my inventory, and I'll be back. All right, we're back. So, pardon me, as soon as I got back on and started talking, all of a sudden I had a frog in my throat. All right, I put everything away. I've got now a fairly empty case here. And I've got the other one in there and a fairly empty case here. So, I'm curious what you guys think we should do next. Um, should we try and go to the Lost Cities and explore the Lost Cities a little bit? Or should we just kind of keep building what we've been building? I've got quite a number of resources at this point from our laser drill. Because not only do I have this full, and this full, and this full, and this, you know, working on being full, but I also have this full of trying to actually make these out, which, you know, we're going to have to continue to make them into blocks as they overfill it. You know, I've pulled stuff from each of these. You know, we can go outside and take out the lapis and the redstone and the coal and break those all down. The diamond, the emerald, you know, free up some more space in here to free up more space here. But as you can see, we've done a pretty good job of between the three of these we've done a pretty good job of picking up our stuff and we've only had to remove or we've only had to move our lava once Ooh, yeah pick that back up let's go into the nether and see how we're doing lava wise let's see how much of that pool of lava we've actually picked up because maybe we need to move that again I don't know I'll have to look When we have night vision on, the sky in the nether looks red. See, that thing shouldn't be pulling any lava anymore. Based on what I'm seeing here, this should be pretty much... Really? This should be pretty much done. We should be moving this. Yeah, tank there is empty. That tank has 30 buckets in it. That tank only has two. We should probably be moving this. But to where? Should we move it out this way? Give it a pretty good space over here. Yeah, it's done. Alright, so that's what we should do. We should pick this up and hopefully remember how we put it together so that we can put it back together right at our next spot. spot. Okay. We'll 
build ourselves a bridge like we did here. And take this out of ways. just to make sure we stay in lava. All right, so 64, let's let's move it 64 spaces out. Sound like a plan? think this way would be a good way. Yeah. We'll move it that way. Alright, so if we were to put our pump right there, okay, and our energy dynamo here. We want to face it this direction. Although that didn't work. So let's grab that and turn this how it should face. Then we've got to... Whoa, hi. to start placing stuff. So, let's say fluid comes out of this, right? But we're going to want it to go into this. So, probably going to want to take that off. Fluid 
fluid comes out here. So that's going to be extract, always active. That's going to be insert. Power I don't really care about, but that part I do. Hey! that comes out of there, we are going to want let's just say this goes to here, right? That'll work. We're going to want this to go to here, because we want that to be a uh, reservoir. And then we're going to want this Let's put that on top. Okay, and then let's put this on top of that. And then we can set this up to push so that that always has and we can set this one up to pull okay so then we need we've got three why do I have three I don't think I need three this one extract always active and this one is insert only and then this here will be insert and that one will be insert okay so we should get Stuff coming in here, and stuff going in here, and stuff going in here, but we're not. Why? Let's take that out. Let's turn this one off. Let's put that here. Will that work? So, when this does its thing, okay, so it's, it's pulling stuff already, as you can see. So as that does its thing, it's going to pick up lava. It's going to put the lava in here, and then from here we want a buffer. That buffer can be... here. Buffer to there. I don't want that on. Alright, 
So buffer here goes up to this. This always stays full, right? Then take from there that we're constantly filling to here so that this stays full. And then from there to here. Maybe. Out of there into here, this stays full. Out of there to here, this should fill. Okay. And then... So, what should happen is this should fill up from there. This can. It doesn't have to, but if we take that off, that means that this comes out of here into either there or to here, and moves up to there, then around to this one. That gives us a, a 16 bucket buffer here, 16 bucket buffer there, and a whole buttload of buckets buffer there. And this just keeps doing its job, moving around and around and around and around. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is undo... No, that's not what I want. Actually, what I want to do is there. So if I just chunk load this section, then this should be able to work all the way around, huh? And it shouldn't matter where else the chunk load is, as long as it's here, where this is. So that being the case, man, I like that. Let's grab one cobblestone. Take that out. go back over to where our other one was set and undo all those chunks. center of this should allow for a fairly large chunk loaded area to be pumped of lava. And this thing works fairly quick. As you can see, it pulls buckets fast. Alright, so there we go. Now we've got, you know what, I'm going to mark the pump. In here, so that we know where it's at. I mean, we know where it's at, but pretty sure you guys understand what I'm getting at. Okay. So, having flight's nice, but sometimes I forget 
the, the problems with having flight. Once you have a method or a way in which you know how to get somewhere, having flight kind of makes you go, well, you know, I don't have to go that direction. I can do this. So 1.3 buckets. I'm wondering if I should turn this back on. So if it's paused, does it continue to... I don't know. But this thing should be 1.3 buckets. Everything that gets killed here should be giving us ex uh, essence. And I'm not going to turn that back on. We've got 244 of those now. Let's put that away. That away. Those away. Those away. Alright, let's go back home. That's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. We killed the Ender Dragon. We've made ourselves a really nice set of ender oh not there where do I want to put those yeah we'll put them there we've made our we've made ourselves a nice little ender pearl garden wow that's growing nicely or that's growing at least so we should be seeing ender pearls on a regular basis and we moved our lava production so that hopefully we don't run out of lava so all in all I think it was a fairly productive day if you guys have anything you'd like to see let me know I, I'm just kind of winging it. This one doesn't have quests or anything like that to go by, so I don't really have an agenda on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, the other thing that I did that you can't tell now is I updated our, or I fixed our armor right here on this with those. It's just a Supremium ingot with the armor piece and a little bit of experience, and our armor gets fixed. Um, so, that's the other thing that we did today. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Uh, we will come back tomorrow. And where did they go? That's weird. That was strange. Where did all of our stuff go? The stuff we placed in the world should be... We should get a bunch of little baby pigs there. Um... Apparently we're going to have to come back in with some food for our pigs and our sheep. And some buckets in order to milk the cows. Huh. I'm surprised that that did that. Well, let's see if we can milk a cow or two.
anyway, that's going to be it for today. All I'm going to do is get this back up to 100 and call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. If you've uh, not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. I try and put videos out every day. We will uh, see you guys tomorrow, and I hope that you have a great day. This has been In Harm's Way. Bye-bye.